Godfrey is the first Elden Lord if you ignore Placidusex and acts as an obstacle before the final boss of the game, creating earth shattering shockwaves with his weapon, the Axe of Godfrey. But would he be as powerful as a player as he is a boss? Well in this video, I'll find out by taking his cosplay for a spin and seeing whether or not it competes well against bosses and players. I'm bite sized Otaku and let me give it to you bite sized. So Godfrey wears the Elden Lord set which would give us 38 poise and decent defense which I find disappointing as I was expecting a bit more poise and defense from the Elden Lord strip. His weapon, the Axe of Godfrey, is a strength based weapon that deals pure physical damage and comes with the weapon art, Regal War. This skill performs a shockwave that deals damage and buffs you with 7.5% bonus physical damage plus 5 strong scaling and an altered heavy attack. The heavy attacks will become similar to Godfrey's shockwave stomp and axe sweep combo which can be followed up with a second heavy attack. But outside of this, Godfrey doesn't utilize any spells or talismans for this vanilla version of the build, so I've invested heavily into strength and endurance so he can stay on the offensive and deal some damage, as the axe is our only weapon on its level 137 hero. Now taking this into combat, against bosses will fare pretty well as our skill can send humanoid enemies flying or heavily damaging other types of bosses and our regular attacks work about as well as any other axe for dealing damage. Our altered heavy attacks in PvE are less useful as they lock us into a stamp and swing animation which leaves us open to damage and is unlikely to stagger larger enemies but will send groups of smaller ones flying. In PvP, our axe is slightly more useful as we can often trade our altered heavy attack while benefiting from a heavy weapon capable of dishing out good damage. But this build in its vanilla form does struggle in a few areas because despite our axe, we don't really have anything really going for us. Our poise is low leaving us prone to stagger unlike the boss, we don't have any ranged attacks and our shockwaves are much smaller than the originals. We also can't benefit from weapon infusions, greases and our damage doesn't out damage some optimized builds that can take advantage of the things we can't. So let's make some slight adjustments. I'll add the Highlander Axe which will boost our raw damage by 10% and our skill does count as a raw style attack. I'll also throw in the Beast Roar as a ranged option. Then let's add in the Raw Medallion which will boost our raw attack damage by a further 15% or 7.5% in PvP alongside the Shard of Alexander, the Crimson Amber Medallion plus 2 and the Axe Talisman which will boost our charged attacks by 10%. I'll keep the stats the same as the build is pretty simple on this level 137 hero and the results are slightly better but not much to gawk at considering I tried to not break the aesthetic of Godfrey by adding in anything too fancy for an advantage. While we're squeezing out some damage on our weapon skill, we're limited by our lack of poise meaning we have to time our attacks in preparation for a trade to gain the upper hand and this can work against some builds but does require some practice to get right. But in conclusion, there's not much to really say on this very simple build that functions well enough with a cool weapon art and armor set that allows you to fight in style but severely lacks the glory of the original Godfrey which makes using this build a risk compared to more optimized builds. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and of course subscribe. This is Bite Sized Otaku and I hope you enjoyed.